let me tell you about how this panel right here smacked me into solar basically what's going on this is i from ask out solar i wanted to talk to you guys about how i first got into solar so i grew up in new orleans right and we lost power all the time there's people in the endo right now still losing power for you know just raining and stuff like that so having access to power when the power was off is very important to me it's pretty much been embedded in my dna through those experiences so i was i wanted to have um, emergency power backup so that if we lost power, I would still be able to charge phones and charge my laptop and do some editing and stuff like that uh, because we have a YouTube channel, a family YouTube channel outside of this YouTube channel. So I wasn't thinking about solar. Like, yeah, I was watching, you know, the Will Prouses, the Hobo Tech, the RV people, and I was watching like small, small cabin, you know, solar systems, just trying to kind of understand what solar was like because I love renewable energy. Plus I'm a techie, you know what I mean? Like charging my devices is important to me. I have various phones. We have a tablet or two running around here. You know, it's just a whole thing. Oh, another thing that is important to me because of my past is I love flashlights. I love knives too, but we won't get into that. So the main thing I wanted was something small, budget friendly that could sit somewhere and not be used. But if, you know, I saw some rain clouds kind of coming over the horizon, if it wasn't topped off, I'd top it off and then if we lost electricity i'd have power so i'm a facebook marketplace guy i was on the marketplace and i see this solar panel right here which is the renergy 50 watt dude had it listed for like 20 bucks and i was like i i couldn't pass that up man i had to 20 dollars to get into solar i couldn't pass it up so i reached out to the guy purchased the panel it was at the like the beginning of covid so I hadn't really left the house for anything, but I had to leave the house to get this panel. So I, I met up with the guy. He, funnily, he was like, um, are you going to come and get it? Because, you know, I have a bunch of people interested in it. And I was like, outside of an emergency, you know, somebody's hurting my family or something like that. I'm coming to get that panel. So I actually shot out there to meet up with the guy. We met up at a gas station. I gave him the 20 bucks. We talked briefly at a distance because um, I didn't want to play no games. I'm like, hey, you know blessings to you man thanks for the the panel and uh <laughs> you know i'll holla so i threw it in the back of the truck and i was good uh good money so what that did was that pushed me <laughs> into like trying to find something to use this panel with because i felt like i was just wasting power so my dilemma now was what was i going to use this panel with so the first thing i kind of started to research was um there was this adapter this particular device took mc4 to like two or four usb ports i'm i'm a techie so i have multiple cell phones laying around so i was actually gonna buy that it was like 40 bucks um i didn't like that pricing because it seemed like such a simple device and lo and behold uh it just seemed like it wasn't a good look so I, I had done some research on portable power stations, mostly watching, you know, Hobo Tech's uh, reviews and things like that. And he reviewed a device called the Next Pile. The thing that I liked about that one was that you could charge it over USB-C. So I don't want to get too in the weeds. Actually, I'll just we'll just leave that for the next video. But I was about to buy this particular forty dollar device, and then I just decided like, no, that's not a good look. Let me figure out what I can do with an actual portable power station because some of those cheaper ones were like coming in at right around one hundred and twenty dollars, one hundred and ten dollars. So why spend forty dollars to only be able to charge cell phones when I could get this device that could possibly power my laptop and maybe a monitor or something like that? So I had to. Uh, really dig into what kind of solar generator or por portable power station is what they should actually be called. I was going to buy. Something you have to know about my situation is that I don't need solar power. That's why I wasn't really kind of pressed to get into solar. Energy is relatively cheap here. So the payback of having a solar power system and spending, you know, $1,000, $500, $400, $300 on solar was not ideal because that return on that money is really not worth it. And trust me, I, I'm no mathematician, but uh, I was trying to make these purchases make sense. And overall, they just didn't, you know, from a soul, a solely like fiscal place at eight cents per thousand watts i mean to get what 50 watts from here over the course of a day that's barely 
scratching the surface of what I can pay eight cents for. It doesn't even matter. And this panel cost me twenty dollars. It was probably seventy dollars new at some point, which is you know off the chain. So my biggest thing was to be able to use the sun as much as I can while it's out, which is why I wanted to get something to be able to pair with this panel. Storing the sun is not all that important for me. Um, I mean, it's cool, you know, to have battery capacity. That's a beautiful thing. But even now I struggle to make sense of trying to buy something bigger because it just, it doesn't make financial sense to be able to have, uh, to spend all that money just for the off chance that we may lose electricity for, you know, a day or a few hours or something like that. Even if stuff hits the fan, I would love to be prepared for a stuff hits the fan situation, but the amount of money that you'd have to spend for something that may or may not happen just is, it's not ideal. If I get to a place where we can afford that, I would love to get something that powers our fridge and I would love to get something that could give us cool air via air conditioner. And people talk about how air conditioners, they don't use a whole lot of power, but that ramp up is so high. So even if you got a small window unit that uses about, and I've measured some, that uses about 400 watts, it may take 1,500, 2,000 to ramp up that compressor or whatever it is that it does. So I don't know, I wanna get there one day, but this was my start smacked me in the solar. <laughs> I had to get something. And in the next video, I'll talk about the device that I actually got. Thanks for watching. It's I. Holla.